Um, let me ask you a question. Have you ever heard soup of salad joke <coughs> from your parents? A lot of people came to come to stay and the first time they go to the restaurant and the waitress were asked, soup or salad? But since they speak very fast, a lot of people heard super salad. <laughs> Do you want super salad? It's like, what is super salad? <laughs> Yesterday I wore the Superman t shirt. I wonder if I have that salad, I would literally just, like, you know, pull out my, my shirt and then ask inside my shirt. No, that is soup or salad. And, uh, that is the, the language thing happened to a lot of people. Do you want to go to like one country you really want to go? And um, but sometimes one thing really stop you is that well first thing is do I have money? Do I have time? But next thing is if I go there, can I speak there later? Today's Bible verses here. He said, "These people suddenly they can speak other native tongues." This is the very first Pentecost that Holy Spirit came to be. And you may ask, what is Pentecost? That is the, the day Israel they celebrate the harvest. Because of God's blessing, they have a harvest, and on this day, on this period of time, they celebrate and give their thanksgiving to God. Before Jesus was lived up to heaven, he told his disciples. I will ask Father to send you another help. On that day, in this Bible verse it says, there's a violent wind. Sounds like a violent wind. Very strong wind. And then divided. Oh, it's kind of scary, isn't it? Like suddenly you saw a lot of tongues about. And then after that, those tongues rested on each of them. And it started to speak all the languages. Last night we talked about what do you want to do in the future? One person in the group say that she wants to learn other languages so she can do international business. And she felt like learning language, languages is very fun. Think about it. How long do you need to take? How long does it take to learn one language? To be honest, I, I shared last night, I took Japanese literature as my college major. Before I could speak Japanese fluently, it took me about 10 years. If you spend more time, more effort, you can probably shorten it up to 5 to 6 years. And English, I spent like almost 20 years. But this is the most difficult language I've ever learned. It took me 20 years. Speak in language, speak in that language fluently. Take time. But these people, 
On that day, suddenly, the violin, the Holy Spirit came. And because of the Holy Spirit, Spirit filled inside them, they started to speak native tongue. Today we only read Acts chapter 2, verse 1 to 4. But actually, Acts chapter 2 is talking the same thing. The same event happened in that Pentecost. When they receive the Holy Spirit, they do something weird. They do something very powerful. What they did was, they started to speak in different languages. And they share that, share gospel to those people who speak those languages. At the end of that event, you can go home and read the, the rest of the chapter 2. You mentioned that it's about 3,000 people. 3,000 people heard the, the gospel, repent, repented, and accepted Jesus as their Savior. The first, very first time, Holy Spirit came to people. Not only those disciples who can speak tongues, who can speak other languages, also that 3,000 people. I believe that Holy Spirit moved that 3,000 people so they opened their hearts to accept Jesus Christ. When you accept Jesus Christ, God sent the Holy Spirit inside. But why can we do this? Like this chapter 2 said. A lot of time because we don't rely on Holy Spirit. We don't recognize that Holy Spirit is working inside us. Today I want to challenge you that that your Holy Spirit works. Rely on God. That the Holy Spirit. When you rely on God, when you rely, you let Holy Spirit work inside you. Great thing happen. Be honest, I'm a little bit tired today. And even I spent 20 years learn English. I'm not sure that I can speak English well. Because everything, every word came out from my mouth. It need to go through my brain first. I need to make sure that the pronunciation is right, grammar is right, everything is right, and then I can deliver that to you. When you are tired, a lot of time your brain is not working. And that happened to me. So I have to pray. Pray that, Lord, can you help me? Not only today, every time I preach in Japan, I pray that Holy Spirit, I ask Holy Spirit work inside me. Help me to speak the language right. And a lot of time, a lot of time after the service, I just, I became very frustrated because I felt like, man, I found the service today. I was not, I was not speaking the language wrong. I was mad, frustrated. But a lot of times people say, thank you for your service. Thank you for your message. That means a lot to us. It's not because you can speak our language. 
but the message itself, the content, really talks to us. At that moment, I realized that, okay, sometimes I focus in too much on my performance in the language. But God, the Holy Spirit, works. What I said when I talk will deliver gospel. Three thousand people on that day accept Jesus Christ because the Holy Spirit worked in them. They become, they became the Christ follower. As I just told you, I challenge you today. Let Holy Spirit work inside. Let Holy Spirit lead you and lead us daily. Become true Christ followers. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for today's. Today is the day of Pentecost. We celebrate that, we remember that the very first time you sent Holy Spirit to us. We thank you that you give us every single one the Holy Spirit inside us. Lord, please help us to let the Holy Spirit work. And help us just like those 3,000 people. Because of the Holy Spirit, we can become the true Christ follower. We can become as those disciples. So we can go out and share the word, share the gospel to the people around us. And again, we just thank you for your mercy, the Holy Spirit, and help us again become the true Christ follows. In Jesus' name we pray.